the Sports Shuffle, Sports Blast for February 23rd, 2012, as we have wall-to-wall -wall baseball with a, just a little touch of crazy people in the news. It's a new segment we're debuting on the Sports Shuffle. Perfect for when you're going all crazy all the time. Of course, Elijah Dukes, if you've had that days without an arrest count going, well, you can reset that sucker back to zero. So Elijah Dukes was pulled over at 1.08 a.m. this morning, according to the arrest report, when officers approached him, this from TBO.com, they saw flakes of marijuana on Dukes' shirt. Dukes, 27, who played for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in 2007, was also trying to eat a small bag of pot. Dukes, uh, from, uh, who does live in Tampa, was charged with tampering with physical evidence, possession of less than 20 grams of cannabis, possession of drug paraphernalia, and three counts of driving. They canceled or suspended license, according to the sheriff's office. He was in county jail Thursday morning with a bail set at 4,750 prior arrests for a whole dozens of them include charges relating to domestic violence, failure to pay child support, and marijuana possession. Dukes, of course, played for the Devil Rays back in 2007, played for the Nationals in 2008 and 2009, and was released by Washington during spring training in 2010. Dukes was the third round pick in 2002 for the Rays out of Hillsboro High. So, <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Elijah, welcome back to the limelight, and not the good limelight there, and link to the story is down below. Then, of course, we have from going, all mm, oh, duking it out, and, or going to pot, I, I think we'll choose going to pot better as a, that story. How about this, folks, as uh, the Miami Marlins are being inexplicably sued. This is from CBSSports.com, Ion Baseball, story by Matt Snyder. Just a little bit of it is, of course, linked to this down below. Would be, hey everyone, it's frivolous lawsuit time. Apparently back in February 2008, there was some sort of awards banquet with an auction in Miami. Marlins president David Sampson, who doesn't own the team, mind you, said the first item up for bid was a Marlins and he'd sell them for $10 million, seemingly as a joke and a man said that he bid the $10 million, which surely was seen by everyone in attendance as furthering the joke. Instead, Omerans and Lansma Corporation Florida is now suing the Marlins, believing it bought the Marlins for $10 million, and the Marlins have reached contract and will include the court filing PDF in the links down below. So is that crazy enough? I mean, with the Marlins spending $191 million, uh, do you seriously expect that somebody would, oh yeah, $10 million, no problem. Think about the ROI on that, $10 million, $191 million, and that was spent just this year. Apparently somebody needs to get a clue. And of course, the third story, since it's wall-to-wall -wall baseball, has about this, folks. We have, of course, publicly Evan Longoria coming forth with the fact that he is, has been in fact a dating playboy playmate Jamie Edmondson, of course, you've been following both of them on Twitter, that's kind of been a no from the no duh file, but now the second Tampa Bay Ray is dating, well one's dating, now is dating back again a playboy playmate, quite surprisingly, or not surprisingly Reed Brignac was dating playmate Lauren Anderson. This, according to Ray's Index, and we'll put the link down below, was dating playmate Lauren Anderson that they may have broken up, but a reader tipped Ray's Index off that the two are back together and are expecting a baby. So, how about that? I mean, kind of wonder if the old pressure's on Mr. David Price now, who recently, of course, was seen in a commercial, if you saw the whole Finger Mechanics commercial, where he's Oh, so close to supermodel Kate Upton, who David Price will maybe date, maybe not, or maybe he's already dating somebody, and he's just not saying anything, or keeping it down low. Who knows, but all sorts of craziness going on. Hey, that's all I'll say, because you know what? They are f people, and they do have social lives, and I know that there are some shows out there that could go on about another half an hour, but, uh, hey, I just say, you know, 
Life is short. Go for it. Then the final story of the day would happen to be the bonus story, and that would be customer fast food outbursts. And this, of course, will be from my fox Tampa Bay, El Linko down below. Ooh. As how about the rash of just crazy people? I mean, you've had crazy Porsche drivers. You have seen the story on YouTube and various websites where the guy tries to go through an area, obviously, that the construction folks have blocked off with orange comb saying you can't drive here and ends up in wet cement. So, ha, huh, that's karma. But it's not only stupid people on the road, it's stupid people in restaurants and also crazy and stupid people. So here's some snapshots of just some of the quick stories as uh, according to Largo Police, this happened at a KFC in Largo. There was a 24-year-old who got so tired of waiting that she began yelling at the customer in front of her in the drive through to hurry with the order. The argument allegedly turned heated up from there, from screaming to ramming the car in front of her right in the drive through lane, then, f then flying off. Then the woman faces several charges, including reckless driving with an aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, the deadly weapon being her vehicle. And you think, that's crazy? How about this one? There's actually the video is on the My Fox Tampa Bay where a Missouri woman got so upset with her order, she shoved cash registers off of the counter because she didn't like her burger. In Ohio, a customer wanted chicken McNuggets, but the breakfast was but the restaurant was only serving breakfast, so she hit the employee in the face and smashed through the drive through window. There's even a man in Texas who was so mad about burrito prices that he fired his gun at an employee. Holy shinoli, folks. So, who's that? And by the way, I'll edit myself. That was. <laughs> restaurant was serving breakfast, not breakfast serving the restaurant. It's very hard for breakfast to serve a restaurant, though I'm sure it's some alternate quantum reality somewhere. In fact, breakfasts do serve restaurants, just not in this one. So, which crazy folks gets the award? Which crazy person is it the person who rams the car in front of her after getting an argument in the drive through line? Is it the woman who shoves the cash register off the counter because they don't like their burger? Is it the person who, because it's, they're still serving breakfast and McNuggets aren't on the menu yet, are, are punching employees through a window? Or is it the guy shooting the gun off because they're so ticked off about burrito prices in the restaurant? Who would you give the official crazy person of the award to for there. But that's just been a little nugget here and a little nugget there with the sport shuffle just dealing with crazy former Tampa Bay Ray players, or I should say former Devil Ray players, crazy bids and auctions that weren't real but somebody apparently thought was real. Not so crazy dating lifestyles off the field. Uh, it, they are baseball players, folks. Or crazy people just in general, totally, completely, utterly losing it. Uh, as I said, we're all crazy all the time. Don't forget to give me a follow on Twitter at Sports Shuffle and give me a like on Facebook, because I like it like that. And for more mouth has been in the zone behind the microphone, all crazy all the time on the Sports Shuffle, because we just do that thing and that we do whatever that thing is I'm not sure yet if you let me know what it is I'll figure it out too or something I'm me you're you and I am G to the O to the N to the E